Okay, so what is up everybody? Olivia HD here, and um, I can finally upload videos now. Yeah, sorry, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. But I can finally upload videos now, now that I'm back with my mom. Um, my dad shut off his internet, so every other week I cannot upload videos until like, it's turned back on. Um, so anyways, this isn't really a let's play, you can't really call it. Well, how can I explain it? It's not a walkthrough, cause it's not like a full out storyline, it's more like a... Uh, some kind of series, I, I I don't know what to really call it, but um, it's War Z. I'm basically gonna create one character, do a series till I die, then maybe do a new series, do some other Daisy videos, or not Daisy, why I keep saying Daisy, War Z videos. Um, so as you can see, I don't have any characters right now. I might have played this before, don't worry. Um, I've just died like day before yesterday, and I got really mad, so I quit for a little bit. Anyways, let's. So it's Rebel without a call zone. I have a certain like thing that I can do. That that's what I do. It's like full up camo kind of. Um let's see let's play game. Server browse. Now uh whenever you're pretty well uh let's see. I like to look for smaller servers. Um for the fact that you don't have to fight over loot and everything like that with other people. As in a very populated server. Um you know, you're sitting there crowded, you're getting killed every now and then, there's so many people, stuff like that. So, I see an 8 here, that's good enough. Uh, so, let's, let's join that server. Now, this will take a second to load. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up out of my chair, and I'm going to walk around my room, which is what I am doing now, because uh, I do, in fact, have a wireless headset. But, um, anyways... So I don't really have anything to talk about until we get back in game. So this may take a second to load, like I said earlier. I'm kind of repeating myself. But um, regardless, I just started a brand new school, and it is nerve-wracking. I hate it. God, it makes me like sick just think about that school. I miss my old school, uh, where all my friends are. This is completely new. I don't really know anybody. I know one kid named Andrew, and he used to go to a school with me in kindergarten so I haven't seen him since then so it pretty much feels like I haven't really met him before but um so there's we also have PE. PE is my oh my god I hate PE. I'm not fat. I'm in shape. I loved PE at all my other schools because I go out run play basketball and stuff like that but not this one. He makes us run as fast as we can for five to ten minutes and if you oh wait we're in game. I'll explain that later. <laughs> okay so let's see where we have spawned. Let's hope we didn't spawn anywhere. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we spawned near Frosty Pines. Um, so I guess that's where we're going to head over to. You know, next time I record this, I'm going to change the resolution to higher. But, um, so we're going to head over to Frosty Pines over here. Um, now I see this tower right off the bat. Um, I've been here before. I actually do not need to waste my energy. In what oh. Spike. I uh, do not need to waste my energy on sprinting, um, really as of now, well, because you never know if there's going to be, say, a bandit up here over this hill, a zombie, and you need to sprint away. <coughs> so, um, let's see, so, um, usually there's a lot more zombies in heavy populated, like, gigantic cities. So, for example, um, let me see, which is, in my opinion, the biggest city? Um, uh, that. Okay, well, let's just say you're going to... Well, actually, this is a pretty decent city. But, well, for, for example, let's say this one, right here. Uh, Mammoth City. I can't even really see it because of the low resolution. But say if you're over there, um, you have more of a chance of having bandits there, more players fighting over loots because like um usually people head for the bigger populated towns with because it has better loot but um i don't always recommend going into big towns like this Th this is a great size place um this is a kind of place i'd recommend but i do not recommend being on a hill like i am i'm not being very smart right now but i'm not really worried about it so once we get uh kind of on level ground with the city uh, we'll start being careful. So let's scout out the area. You do this by right clicking. Uh, I do not see anything. Oh, wait. No, 
Wow. I actually do not see that many. Um, what's that? Wait, why did I get hurt? Did I, like fall or something? That's weird. Uh, so as you can see in the top right corner, you can all see my FPS up there. I know it's pretty low, but because I'm recording, uh, the you see the little eye icon. Now that uh, pretty much points out um, how easy you are to be uh, spotted. So let's get down here. Let's get out. God, why do I keep getting hurt? Look, I'm already down the half health. Fuck. Okay, well, um, now watch the eye thing. See, I just went down. I just went behind this tree. If I move around, it'll go higher. But if I go prone, it should go shorter. But, okay. So y you can also see the ear icon. Now, as you can see, if I stop moving, it goes completely down. If I start moving, it goes up. If I get up and I start sprinting, it goes up even louder. But, uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the basics of learning. Oh, um, I would show you guys all the commands, like I for inventory, uh, C to change from this this view, uh, the third person, or first person view. Uh, you do that by pushing C. Uh, you push Z by to uh, go prone, which means crouching to the ground like this. And then control is to lightly crouch like this. Um... Alright, so I immediately see some zombies, but I also see a car. Now, if you are running from zombies, you see a car. Getting on the hood will not help, but getting on the top of the car will, in fact, help a lot. Because they will actually completely lose sight with you, pretty much. So, they won't hear you unless you move. So, if you stay up there, you're pretty well safe. Um, so, it looks like we got two zombies, three, four zombies. We have one over there by that yellowish car, two by the white one. And at the very back to that building, you can see another one. Um, so, oh, great. A police car. Um, that always gives us the chance of uh, having some weapons in there, such as maybe a pistol, a shotgun, or anything like that. But it um, doesn't look like we're going to get to it very easily. Now, I can get pretty close while crouching, but if I stand up, they will come after me. So let's see if there's anything around this corner. Awesome, there's some police cars back here. That's very great. Shit. Oh, I see a helmet up there. I see two helmets. I can hear a zombie uh, grinning somewhere. I'm not sure where he's at. Sorry if I'm going slow, but I always play safe in this game. Always play safe rather than, you know, fast and running around everywhere and stuff like that. So let's make sure he's not in view of me getting to this police car. Okay, sweet. Um, and nothing. Is there anyone in me? Okay, nope. Awesome. Painkiller's amazing. Um, as you can see, I just held down the E key. And, uh, that allowed me to pick up that item. So, let's go ahead and get inside these rooms. Oh, I keep thinking there's gonna be, like, a zombie or something like that. Alright, so, M9 helmet. Oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs> um, so that's good. We got an M9 helmet. As you can see it on there. But, uh, see so yeah, let's keep going. Uh, see an item over there. It's probably some kind of painkillers. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a vaccine. C O one vaccine. Don't even know what that is, but should be good. Antibiotics. Nine millimeter mag. Pretty good too. Just in case we find a nine millimeter. Um, so apparently there's a zombie directly across this wall, um, which is not a good thing. I think. Ah, uh, maybe he's on the outside. Maybe it's just her over there. Sounds like it is just her. Alright guys, so I just heard the door, so I'll be right back. I'm actually going to mute my mic, so I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, 
if you hear me go silent again, it is most likely because my dad walked in. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like I already have an urban one. And you can also see that the zombies do patrol around, so... You always kind of have to be careful of that. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, so, I aggroed a zombie, which is not a good thing. Um, I can't believe I did that. I accidentally left off the control button. And I hear another zombie. Oh, there he is. Oh crap, so they can't up on me. Not good. So, let's see if we can find a nice spot. Ah, uh, looks like we got a policeman here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run inside this building. And look some sort of way, if I don't know, say juke them. <coughs> oh! Okay, so it looks like we are in fact about to die. So, there we go. Oh god, they can get up here. Okay, so... <laughs> It looks like I died. Um, <sighs> Alright guys, so I'm going to start a new character, and I will in fact look for some more things, but I'm going to go into this and go and upload this as part one. Um, so thanks for watching guys, um, I, I am kind of new to this game, so I can't really uh, 